All right, so for starters, you're gonna start going just until your shin is perpendicular to the ground. So you want to close your eyes, starting all the way from the back. And as you're coming forward, feel for the weight going from the back of the heel to the front of the heel. It's very slight. And when you're doing this at home, you're gonna do five reps in this position. The tempo that you're going is really good. It can be really tempting to like go faster than this, but you really have to focus on what you're feeling. And then after you've done your five reps there, then you can do the same thing, except for now, keep coming forward with the shin, really testing that range and allowing the foot to relax into the sock. So obviously if my finger is under there instead of the sock, I can really feel the change in your pressure. So when you're doing it on your own, you have to feel that you can allow the arch to drop into the sock. Good. And you're gradually kind of getting a little more accommodated coming forward, the eyes are closed. After you've got yourself this far, <clears throat> you're then going to place hands on hips and you're going to get as far as you can again rotate towards me good and feel the pressure kind of change into the mid uh, the big toe we rotate all the way back out and then do the whole thing again good all with eyes closed so you can really focus on what you're feeling through the foot and then as you're going through this you're starting to lean forward from the torso a lot more See if you can resist that, stay really upright. You can even bring your right foot a little closer to your left foot to like bring your stance less long. Yeah. And it seems kind of funny, but that actually forces you to balance more, right? Because now you don't have the stability of being wider and longer. Good, we do five reps in each of those positions and then you're